Well, it's Friday, August 25th. The week is over. So is August almost over. Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is one of my favorites. It simplifies everything. That's what Jesus wanted to do. He didn't want to complicate people's lives with, one might say, institutional religion. He simply said to them, love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbors yourself. And the fact of the matter is, if you do those two things, and you do them well, and you keep to them, you've probably done all the rest. If you keep those two sacred, and you live with them, up to them, and through them, well, you're not going to commit adultery. You're not going to covet anything. You're not going to take the Lord's name in vain. You're not going to kill. You're going to honor your father. And you're going to do all ten. And you're going to do them well. Because you love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, and mind. And you know what your heart, your soul, and your mind are saying to you. You know what they're speaking to you about. You know how much you have internalized them. So you look at the ten and you go, eh, this is easy. This is simple because I love God and I love my neighbor and my heart, my soul, and my mind are utterly concentrated on the love of God and love of neighbor. And love of neighbor, I love myself, not in a prideful way, but in a way that I know I'm God's creation. I'm sacred and I have work to do in this world in the name of God, no matter what I do for a living as a father, as a mother as a brother, a sister, a parent, or a child, or a co-worker. I work for God, no matter what I do. We had a great parishioner who used to say that. He had a terrible health crisis, and he recovered, and he did nothing but volunteer here at the parish. He used to say, I work for God. We remember him fondly. But there was truth in what he said. He thought it was kind of cute for saying it, and he really did work for God, but the reality is we all do. You work for God, my friend and God is watching. Whatever your state in life, do it well, and do it in his name. Love God. Love neighbor. Got nothing to worry about. Take care. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday next week. God bless. Once in the time of Judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Eliamech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about 10 years, both Malan and Shilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, see now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. Thus, is, was, thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the, the barley harvest. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. again. And to all of you who are watching from near and far, many, many hundreds, we welcome you to be part of our parish family this morning. We place ourselves in the loving presence of our God. Father in heaven, we are reminded in the gospel to care for one another, and especially the children, the young among us. May we be the best role models we can and give them a safe haven, provide them with wisdom and faith. Lord, have mercy. Raise them up to be true disciples in Christ, Christ, have mercy. Lead them by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom and help them to understand the place of Jesus in their lives. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye seen, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass all human desire through Christ our Lord. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Behold, a Canaanite woman came to him, calling out, Have pity on me, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say one word to her. The disciples came and asked him, Send her away. She keeps calling after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the tables of the wealthy. Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, how great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. The most enduring memories that children have from their youth, and I mean their really little teeny tiny youth, is when they were sick. We remember as we grow up the moments when we were really, really sick when we were really little kids. And you remember it because you don't understand it at the moment. You don't know why you're sick. You don't know what, what it's called or whatever particular ailment you might have. <clears throat> and so you're frightened. And those moments are when parents hopefully really rise to the occasion of, of taking care of you. And they are moments to remember. I was four years old when my tonsils were taken out. In those days, they took tonsils out no matter what. They just ripped them right out. That's what they did. Took you to the hospital. The kids got a little bit of it. Rip, rip out the tonsils. And I remember so vividly all the ice cream you get to eat. And I remember my mom and dad giving me a pen flashlight and a puppet. It was a squirrel. Not Rocky, but it was another squirrel. And I remember playing under the covers in Patterson General Hospital with that flashlight and that squirrel at four years old. And my mother told the nurse, don't even try to put him to sleep. He doesn't sleep well. He'll fall asleep when he does. And the red light on the giant pharmacy across the street all night long flashing red on the walls of the room. It's funny, last night a woman walked out and she said, Father, I was a candy striper back then. And I remember my evening rounds and I remember that red light. At the same time, of course, um, my father also was hospitalized because the doctor was a friend of the family and my father kept complaining about something and he said, we'll rip yours out too. <laughs> Unfortunately, and he was in a room not far from me, my father hemorrhaged a little bit and spit up a little blood. And my mother came in to see me and she said, oh, you're fine. You won't believe your father. They almost had to restrain him. <laughs> He's a bigger baby than you are. 
I remember my mother when we would have a cold rubbing Vicks VapoRub on my chest and on my sister's the gentle, the gentle rubbing of her hand. I remember it like it was yesterday and then pulling the blanket over us and then looking in the corner as the vaporizer was glowing a deep blue. Nothing like solvents in the morning when you wake up, petroleum products in your bedroom. And my grandmother, who I think was born in Oz, coming in and telling my mother, I mean, I'm talking like 1880, you know, a half a teaspoon of kerosene would do that kid a lot of good. <laughs> Get that woman out of my room! <laughs> But we remember those moments because they're embedded. So this gospel is one I always enjoy because this woman has a sick kid. And she knows that Jesus can fix that. He can fix this kid. And so she's not going to give up. Do any parents ever give up when your, your, your child is ill? Whatever it takes. Whatever doctor, whatever specialist, whatever hospital, whatever treatment, whatever drugs, how much money? No, it's not even important. My kid is sick. Do what you have to do. She keeps calling out after him. The disciples are like annoyed. We have to get rid of her. It's very, this is a very personal kind of gospel, very real. But she's yelling and screaming at us. We just, can't we just get rid of her? And so she refuses to leave, and she comes up to him. And she even counters him. She tells him, well... You know, even the dogs eat the scraps. She's a Canaanite woman. She's not even supposed to be in his entourage, and he's not supposed to be talking to her. She doesn't care. She has a sick kid. And you see a turning here in Jesus, recognizing this message can't be just reserved for some. Maybe I've been a little too reserved about what I'm supposed to do, just like the centurion, just like the Samaritan woman at the well just like the adulterous woman and the tax collectors, kind of like a light bulb going off. He says to her, it will be done as you wish. But here's the most important one. A woman, how great is your faith? And that is what matters. How great is your faith? Because that's really what matters. When you have a, a, a sick child and you don't know what it is, your faith is going to tell you no matter what, we will fix this. You don't have a diagnosis yet. You're not even sure of the drugs. You know your child is ill. You're going to have faith that we're going to get through this. You will not give up. You're not going to look at the, the, the glass as half empty. You're going to say the glass is half full and we're going to fill it up and we're going to beat this. And so that was like this woman. How great is your faith? Let it be done as you wish. And the girl was healed. And that goes on to become part of the outreach of the early church. Because as much as Christ recognized that, so somewhere in the heavenly beyond, they recognized that the message also had to go out to the Gentiles. And so what did they do? They found a guy riding on a horse by the name of Saul. And they thought, he looks like he's good for this. Knocked him off the horse, made him blind, and said, well, how do you like that for a conversion? And so he winds up going to someone's house and does a lot of thinking and praying, and Paul becomes the apostle to the Gentiles and goes out to all the people just like this Canaanite woman. He goes out to all of them. And what does he say to them that's so important? The gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. You cannot deny them. That's why parents work so hard for their kids. The gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. The love in your heart in all of our hearts, is so overwhelming, so powerful, that it moves us to move buildings. We will do everything because you're building on the gift that I talk about so often, which is the foundation of love in every human heart. And it is by how we use that gift that we will be known in this life and in this world and after we're gone. That's how we will be remembered. What did you do with that irrevocable gift of love in your heart and it's faith that puts it all together. And that's what Jesus recognized in the woman. In another part of the gospel, they talk about building a house on solid rock. It's very, very easy. And me who kind of likes all kinds of construction, it's a great analogy. Faith is the footing on which the house is built. Around here, it's, um, I think it's 36 to 48 inches deep, right? Okay, that's below the frost line. And then on top of that comes faith. 
the block and the cement and the mortar and the rebar and all the rest of it that hold the structure up. And that's what our lives are like. It's faith that makes it all work. And we build a marriage, we build a family, we build a church, we build a community, and it all springs out of love, bonded by faith. And you cannot deny it. When people deny it, they go down a wrong road. When you deny the gift of love, it doesn't matter whether you go to church or not church or you're Baptist or Jewish or whatever you are. You can't deny the gift of love in your heart. And when you do, all the bad stuff creeps in. And you really don't want that. And that's what Paul is telling the Romans. You have this gift and you cannot deny it, so why not work with it? And he said that to all the Christian churches. And they all believed him and they worked on it. And they built their communities and their parishes and their churches. And because they did it, we're sitting here today. Straight line from here to 2,000 years ago to what he's saying here. So think about that, really. Think about that gift in your heart. Think about when your, when your kids were sick. You know, a very dear friend of mine I lost a little while ago, Father John Connolly. And he was an associate here from about 1989 to 1992. Putting him here together with Monsignor Wilson was maybe not the greatest idea in the whole world. And um, one night on a Sunday, he, after the 7 o'clock mass, he forgot to close the windows. And sometimes I leave them open to let the church air out. You can't get in through them. And the next day, Monsignor went into a whole fit about leaving open, and yelled and screamed, and it was, uh, it was uh, you know, what Monsignor was capable of from time to time. And we went out to dinner, and he said, I can't believe that he was that, he was that crazed about the windows. You know, I mean, I meant well. It was no big deal. And he said, why, why is he like that? And I said, because he's never had a sick kid. And he looked at me. I said, no, he's never had a sick kid. Because when you have a sick child, and you remember that, a lot of other things are not so important as the welfare and well-being of your children. So think about that, my friends. That room back there last night was filled with little kids. All of your lives are filled with little kids. And it's the greatest gift in the whole world, the gift of love. Nurture the irrevocable gift and the call of God that resides in all their little hearts. And we can truly rebuild our church. creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The response to each petition is, hear us. that those who form this community of faith root out prejudice and welcome every stranger. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. That those on the verge of giving up find strength to persevere. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For those who generously share their time, talent, and treasure. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For the homebound, for those in rehabilitation, and for those in hospice care. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For those who are in need of our prayers and all those who have asked for us to pray for them and for all whose names appear on the sick list in our parish bulletin, may God fill their lives with healing in, and peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For all who have died to rise with Christ in eternal light, especially Ferdinand Dimitui and Anatolis Baroskivs, Alice LaRusso, Liam Paconis, Bill Hecht, Mary Lou Carlin. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. I was at a birthday yesterday in Sussex County for some old friends of mine from Immaculate Conception. And I was leaving, a man came up to me with um, quite teary-eyed, and he said, would you do me a favor? 
He said, would you and your congregation pray for a gentleman named Derek, who is a father of three and is struggling, and the man started to cry. He said he's struggling with drug addiction and he's losing his battle and he's very special to us. So, for Derek, Lord in your mercy. Yes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of Consolation. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says, or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.
St. Jude is the patron saint of hopeless causes and desperate situations. Catholics have relied on his intercession in times of extreme need for centuries. This apostle and martyr has helped countless souls through his epistle in the New Testament and his intercessions on behalf of those who seek his aid in times of trial. Pray this St. Jude Novena for your intentions asking St. Jude to intercede to God the Father, his Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on your behalf. We like to say that he is the patron saint of impossible causes, because even though something may seem hopeless, with God there is always hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most Holy Saint Jude, Apostle, Martyr, and Friend of Jesus, today I ask that you pray for me and my intentions. You are the patron of the impossible. Pray for me and my intentions. O St. Jude, pray that God's grace and mercy will cover my intentions. Pray for the impossible if it is God's will. Pray that I may have the grace to accept God's holy will, even if it is painful and difficult for me. St. Jude, you loved our Lord. Help me to love him more. O St. Jude, pray for me that I may grow in faith, hope, and love, and in the grace of Jesus Christ. Pray for these intentions, but most of all, pray that I may join you in heaven with God for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fourth Sorrowful Mystery the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fifth Sorrowful Mystery the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we pray, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, while meditating upon the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs> 